thisfaiththing.com, episode 248. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is trusting in God with all your heart. Faith is knowing that all things are possible with God, that nothing is too difficult for God to do. This faith thing can be easy when we have God on our side. Faith is the word of God. Welcome back for another episode and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Friends, one of the questions that I get quite often is, am I a child of God or how do I know if I'm a child of God? Or if I'm a child of God, why do I go through so many trials and tribulations? Or even why do I feel like I'm not a part of God's family? Well, friends, this is a normal question, one that I often get, one that even me myself in the beginning of my journey, I asked a lot. It is a question that most believers in the beginning stages with their walk with Christ and even some in their later stages of walking with Christ, walking with God, they will have mostly because we are looking at ourselves as sinners. And sometimes we see the downfalls that we have, the pitfalls that we go into. And sometimes we begin to question ourselves as to if we truly are a child of God and it's normal. It's okay for you to think that way. It's okay for you to have those questions because it shows that you have some type of sensation, some type of emotion to wanting to be a child of God and fully wanting to be this child of God. Turn with me to the book of Romans 8, 16 through 17. Romans 8, 16 through 17. It reads to us that the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children of God, then hairs, hairs of God and joint hairs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. To all the questions and even more that I've listed earlier, this is the answer. We are told in this book of Romans that we are children of God because why? The Holy Spirit himself will bear witness with our own spirit that we are children of God. And if we are children of God, then we are joint heirs with Christ. That if we surely suffer here on earth with him, we will be glorified with him in the end. Being a child of God, friend, is a privilege. It is a privilege, friends, because there are many out there who don't even want to be classified as such. They don't want to be associated with what we call our God. But the Holy Scripture tells us that the Holy Spirit by himself will bear our spirit witness that we are children of God, meaning that there will be confirmation within us. Friends, stop looking at the world. Stop looking outside for the world to give you this answer. It is going to be found within you that you are a child of God. For instance, when you are born into a family, does your parents necessarily have to sit you down to tell you that you really belong to this family? I'm sure there are many parents out there that have never set their children down to convince them that they belong in this family, that they are a part of this family. Because it is by the acts of the parents or the siblings or the other family members that you will be confirmed that you are a part of that family. Maybe it's a family resemblance that you have, or maybe it's a personality or a characteristical trait that you have that other members in your family also has that confirms to you that you are a child of this family. No direct convincing is done, friends. Never. I don't ever recall in my life my parents sitting me down to confirm and to persuade me into knowing that I belong to them. I just knew it because of the way they took me, because of the way they raised my sisters and I, because of the love that they showed us and that they continuously showed towards us. It is the same thing with children of God, friends. God does not have to sit you down to speak with you directly for you to know that you are his child. He shows it to you. He provides for you. He heals your infirmities. He bears your grievances. He settles you when you're restless. He comforts you when you're sad. He is your blanket when you are cold, friends. He gives you water when you are thirsty. God shows you on a daily basis that you truly belong to him. He does not need to sit down and tell you with his own mouth and confirm it to you before you believe it. You just have to believe, friends. This is what we call faith. You have to have faith that you are a child of God. Once you give your life to Christ. 
Once you decide that you are going to give your life to Christ, furthermore, giving your life to God, then you should automatically know in the back of your mind, no matter what you go through, no matter what the world is showing you, no matter what the world is telling you, that you are a child of God because your spirit will begin to confirm that to you. The Holy Spirit with your spirit will begin to confirm that to you, friends. You will know that you are a child of God because eventually you will begin to bear this witness on a daily basis. Your attitude will change. Your beliefs will change. Your prayer life will change. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you think, the way you reason, all of that will change because now you belong to God's family. Don't allow the world to tell you otherwise. When what grieves God begins to grieve you on a daily basis and you begin to feel this on a daily basis, then you know you are truly a child of God. When you begin to be so thirsty for his word, all you look for is his word. You're looking for the word of God to confirm what you're seeing on a daily basis. Then you know that you are a child of God. When you desire more of him to have more of him, then you know that you are a child of God, friend. The world will try to persuade you and convince you otherwise. The world will tell you that, well, if you really serve God, then why is this happening to you? Why is A, B, and C and not X, Y, and Z happening to you? The world will try to confuse you. But friends, Romans 8, 16 and 17 already tells me that the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if we are children, then we are his heirs and heirs with God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. That is what the book of Romans chapter eight tells you. Don't allow the world to confuse you because the world will surely try to confuse you on a daily basis, friends. The world will want to confuse you on a daily basis, but God is good. All the time. God is good all the time, friends. He is always good to us on a daily basis. Don't allow the world to confuse you, friends, because truly you are a child of God, no matter what you are facing. Friends, I hope that this message of today has blessed you. Go in peace and I will speak with you on the next one. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to This Faith Thing with Adjel Aduni. Please head on over to the website at thisfaiththing.com to find the show notes and everything mentioned inside of this podcast. I pray that you have been blessed. Go in peace and I will see you in the next episode. God bless you.